Hi, I'm Arch Nemesis, and if you've seen my channel lately, or you've just been paying attention to my videos, you'll know that my most recent videos have been Minecraft cinematics, with one of them even going viral. And with this, a lot of people have been wondering, how do I make something like this? In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about making good cinematics, everything you need to make good cinematics, and finally, how to make good cinematics. The first thing you're going to need to make good cinematics is Minecraft, but not any Minecraft, it has to be modded using either Fabric or Forge. Once you've modded Minecraft and you're done with that, next you're going to need a recording software. I personally use OBS, it's easy to use, and it's free. Then you're going to need an editing software. I personally use CapCut, again, it's easy to use, and it's free. It's also what I use to edit all my videos, along with OBS to record. Next you're going to go to the link in the description, which will take you to the replay mod download page. This is the mod that actually allows you to record and make cinematics. Next, you're just gonna go click the download button. If any ads pop up, just X them out. Click download on whatever version you have of Fabric or Forge. Put that file in your mods folder, and then load the modded version of Minecraft. Okay, so now that you have replay mod, uh, basically you just wanna go into, I, I have a world for recording things, but you can make one, or if you just wanna do stuff in a regular world, whatever. Uh, shout out to the person that just subbed. By the way, if you subscribe and I'm recording, you're you're gonna be put in the video. Hi, Editing Arch here. I forgot to mention, before you act out your scene, click escape and click start recording. So I actually have an idea for something, so I'm just gonna do this right here. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna run, and then do this basically and hit that bow clutch right there. Now, obviously, I'm not actually crafting the bow, I'm kind of just going down here and doing this. But when we're actually doing this, we can make it look like we're uh, acting with the crafting table. Okay, so once you're finished recording, whenever you're recording, just click escape, click stop recording. I, I just did that, so I that's why it says start recording. Next, go back to the main menu, wait for this up here to reach uh, 100%. So once that's done, you click done, just click on this right here to open the replay viewer and then um, load whatever one you want. The top one is always gonna be the most recent, so click P immediately whenever you get in to pause. If you are not near your character, just click B, and then it'll show all the players. If you're in a server, it'll show everybody. But right now it's just me, so I'm just gonna click myself, and then I'm gonna click escape, and I'm gonna click shift to get out of the player view. So now I'm right here. Ba it's basically free cam. You can click F1, to hide the menu you can click t to bring up your cursor but just click escape whenever you want to go back in here click l to tilt to the right click j to tilt to the left click k to reset your view so if you would like this click k click c to clear all your keyframes click p to pause and unpause up here is the speed so if i change this speed way down and unpause it as you can see everything's a lot slower the default speed is one so default speed this is what it will be like so now you want to record so i'm just going to start a little before and then click escape f1 and then capture my scene just like this and then i can go back and then just like this i have a another angle on it so i would do this okay so i just recorded everything that i wanted to so now i'm going to exit out of this exit out of minecraft I'm going to open a new CapCut project, so if you're new to CapCut, I will walk you through this, do not worry. Basically, you uh, click the import right here, and select your media, and then you drag it in, and now you have your video. So I'm going to turn this audio all the way down, because I'm actually going to have music. Uh, you can click this to zoom in on the timeline. You can use this, move it around on the timeline, and then you can click this, and then you can split it right here. So now these are basically two separate videos, so I can delete this one if I want, which I'm not going to because it has half of the stuff I need. Or you could do this, which is basically delete the left side, click that, and it will just automatically delete the left. Or you could do that on the right side, right there, just like that. So now you're basically just gonna cut through your media until you find the parts that you want. Now I'm actually, I forgot to say this, I'm actually gonna make a YouTube short out of this, so I'm gonna click this ratio right here. 9 by 16 and then I'm gonna zoom this in all the way just like this okay so now basically I have all of the parts that I need it's basically just me uh, doing a boat clutch here as you can see this is obviously not YouTube short worthy and th the reason there's not even a meme to it yet if you want to you can obviously just stop here but I'm I'm like recording myself making this YouTube short um, as an example so you can follow the steps you want I guess so now I'm gonna have the text here. Okay, so this is basically what I've just done, and I've just selected this for the text. 
Uh, I'm gonna turn the stroke up a little bit because that's I think that it makes the text look a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put it up and I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Shout out to the man that sub. And uh, now I have this and it's solid so far, but I want sound. Basically, I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna go to a website called tunavoicemod.net. This is where I get all my sounds from. Basically, you just search for a sound and then there's tons. And this is the one that I want, so I'm just going to download that. So I actually have a whole folder for sounds, um, because, like, I do do everything. I like to keep my uh, stuff for YouTube organized. You might not have that, but I do, so I'm just gonna put my sounds in a different folder here. And then I'm just gonna go back to the import section, find the sound, and then just bring it in. So now the sound is a little late to actually happening. There's a little bit of nothing here. And to keep the audience hooked on the video, I'm just gonna cut to the sound immediately. Okay, and then this is basically the video that I have. So with everything that I showed you, I just made a pretty cool looking Minecraft cinematic. And then once you're happy with your video, just click export, select everything right here, and then just click export. Then once you save the file, you just exit out of there. And yeah, there you go.